So we are still tracking some chilly breezes across our Thursday forecast this morning. Some north winds peaking around 25 miles per hour. That does favor the north half of the valley, but all of us still have that cool breeze. Uh, this afternoon we'll dial that back to about 20 mile per hour gust. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, first time, long time should be uh, completely calm with winds 5, maybe 10 miles per hour Friday through Veterans Day weekend. A lot of sunshine out there. It's chilly though. Temperatures right around 50 at 7 in the morning. And with a 10 mile per hour steady breeze, that's winter coat weather. As we head into the late morning, sunshine will lift us out of the 50s and into the low 60s. We'll try to hit the upper 60s across your Thursday afternoon, uh, but still a lingering breeze from the north and the northeast about 10 miles per hour. Finally this evening, that breeze is going to relax. First time in many days we've been able to say that. We'll cool off though, clear and calm and cold 7 p.m. We've dropped to the 50s tomorrow morning. It's calmer, but a lot colder down in the mid 40s to start Friday. Friday afternoon, only in the mid 60s. It'll be calm, but we will have some clouds. Sunshine across the weekend forecast. Saturday, Veterans Day, calm. Chilly in the morning if you're up early Saturday or Sunday. We'll start off in the 40s, but upper 60s for Veterans Day Saturday. Sunday will try to sneak up near 70. So we have the possibility of some wet weather at times next week. Right now, we've got a 30% chance of some showers Wednesday. A 50 50 shot of some rain next Thursday and next Friday. So a week from now, of course, we've got F1 action Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and with rain chances in the forecast, yeah, our little weather ears perk up. It's a ways off subject to change, but we are watching that closely and we'll keep you posted again. Sunny and still breezy and still cold today. Winter coat this morning. Nice to have calmer weather, though, Friday through the weekend. All right, Justin, thank you.